if anyone watching this is completely bored by watching a whole bunch of bonefish being landed and released, you can stop now. But the first fish is a good one. It's a little fish, but that strike was the first one that I had a hookup on after five previous strikes. It's a it's a uh, milkfish, which are very, very difficult to catch, even as the small ones. They eat algae mostly. I found a fly that seems to work pretty well for them, and happy to release that one. So we're fishing uh, on a flat right here again, and give you releasing another nice bone. All these bones you'll see are very, very healthy fish. Uh, most of them are darn good sized. Uh, they'll range from, uh, I think I caught one or two that were in the three or four pound range and the rest of them were uh, up to six to nine pounds. I'm pedaling through the palm, <sighs> coconut palm forest to get out to Tamatabi Point, which is where I am right now. It was a nice morning this morning, and that's a slow bonefish retrieve, resulting in a fish that's probably about nine pounds. His eyes are as big as quarters, and that's, that's a good sized fish. Their eyes grow as the fish grows, so uh, it's nice to see a big one like that once in a while. This f fish we didn't want to land. It's not a fish, it's a called a tropic bird, and it was down searching for fish in the water and picked up my uh, streamer that I was pulling along, and it got hooked up, unfortunately. I'm at this moment reeling it in. Unfortunately, I was afraid I was going to have to hold it and try to get the hook out of its mouth, but happily it dropped it at the very end and got off by itself. So that was good. There's another bone. There are going to be a lot of little pictures of bones coming up and some other fish also in a minute. Uh, these hooks have been debarbed, but they're still, they still have a little bump at the bottom, so I end up having to release them with uh, a forceps. I don't like to touch them anyway. There's a right-handed cast. I'm left-handed, but uh, happily I can do some right-handed casting as well. I'm almost as well as the left hand. Here goes another fish taking out about 200 yards of uh, backing. It's going to be another bone that will show up coming up the alley in just a second. There he comes in like a little puppy dog. I did most of my fishing on the west side of the island. Here's another nice bone. You, you can all tell that they're all fat and happy and healthy. Um, even though uh, it's, I have to use the forceps to get them off because there's always a little bump left on this debarbed hooks. Here comes a little pompano in. We've caught big ones here, but this was uh, just kind of a nice sized little one. There are 60 varieties of fish that are takeable by a, a fly on this island, and we've probably landed between 30 and 40 of them over the years. So uh, it's fun. It's fun never knowing exactly what you're going to be landing when you get a strike. I found this particularly interesting. If you look carefully at that, there's a bonefish on my line and two bluefin trevally were trying to chase it. They were about the same size as he was, so they weren't going to be able to catch him anyway. This is a rainy day. You can see I've got the coat on. Uh, it was really the only bad weather day we had on the trip. Uh, didn't ruin the fishing at all, but uh, the weather wasn't very pleasant. Uh, we did have tremendous winds this week, despite uh, everything else. Look at all the turtle grass in the water. I tried using weed guards one year, but it, it resulted in a whole bunch of missed strikes, so I gave up on that. Here you're watching a bone take off. He's going to go out another 100 yards or so. That's a whole pile of turtle grass on the edge of the shore. I wanted to fish out there in that blue water, but uh, there was no way to get through it through this uh, weed bed stuff. Because of the uh, spring tides, the higher highs and the lower lows, the lower lows let me get out on the edge of the reef into the lagoon between Alphonse and Francois Island. So I did a lot of fishing off the end while the tide was low. Caught lots and lots of different types of fish and some decent ones, some smaller, but a lot of variety, probably six or seven different types of uh, snappers, uh, a couple blue fin trevally, uh, a uh, rainbow runner or two and uh, it was just fun off there because you never know what's going to happen when your fly goes down. They're all interesting fish even though some of them aren't very big. This was a really fun fish. It's a black bodied bright blue spotted grouper and that's a decent sized one for the uh, edge of the reef and that's about it. Here comes a nice really a nice bluefin trevally. A bluefin's my favorite fish of all. Now we're back at the cabin. I'm looking out on the deck at night. 
There is a Aldabra who's figured out how to tip over the wall that the resort has put out for uh, us to get our feet clean off. It's fresh water, however, and the Aldabras like it. Okay, we'll sit on the deck at the end of the day and call it a good night. It was a great trip again, and we'll come back next year.